Hi, in this lesson, we'll take a look at enhanced for loops. Let's go. In the last lesson, we saw how we can use for and while loops to traverse all the values in an array. In doing so, we created a counter variable that allowed access to each element by referencing the array index value. In this lesson, we are going to explore enhanced for loops. An enhanced for loop is an alternate method to traverse an array instead of using for or while loops. The structure of an enhanced for loop offers a more simplified code. However, it also offers less flexibility compared to for and while loops. Enhanced for loops are often referred to as for each loops since they loop through each element. However, as we will see, the loop only uses the keyword for. Let's take a look at how we can rewrite our for loop as an enhanced for loop. Instead of initializing a variable for looping, the enhanced for loop header initializes a new variable known as the enhanced for loop variable. The type of the variable needs to match the type of the values in the array. In this example, since scores is an array of integers, score also needs to be an integer. After the enhanced for loop variable is defined, we finish our header by placing a colon and then the name of the array. Inside the loop, the enhanced for loop variable is assigned a copy from the array without using the array index. Making changes to the enhanced for loop variable does not change the original value in the array. Let's walk through how the enhanced for loop works. We start by initializing our array. As we go through our loop, the value of score gets initialized in each loop. The value of score is then used inside the loop. Our second time through the loop, score takes a value of 92, and that value is once again used inside the loop. We can see the value change as we go through the loop. Each time, score takes on the next value from the array until we finally get to the last value, at which point our loop is complete. For loops can be used for all data structures in this course and offer the greatest degree of flexibility. In particular, if you are looking at updating values in your array, you need to use a for loop. Enhanced for loops offer a more simplified structure and can be used when you don't need a counter or the ability to update values in the array. Now that you've learned about enhanced for loops, let's get some practice using them in the editor.